This is It Was a Thing on TV. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the dregs of humanity. Episode 210, submission number 1940, the David S. Pumpkins Halloween Special. The David S. Pumpkins Halloween Special, starring me, of course, aired on October 28th, 2017 on NBC. Any questions? How's it hanging? I'm David Pumpkins, and I am going to scare the heck out of you. What is this? The David S. Pumpkins Halloween Special. Any questions? Any questions? I have one. Where the hell did this character come from? There actually is a story behind it, and it's on YouTube. And, and I actually saw it before we uh, did the show. They explain that the inspiration for, for David S. Pumpkins was, do you remember the YouTube video? Uh, this is from the early days of YouTube, like 2006, of the short Indian person who, who uh, did his dancing. I think so. Vaguely. Yeah. If you saw it, you'd know what I'm talking about. That's the guy or the video that Bobby Moynihan says was the inspiration for David S. Pumpkins. And they were just trying to figure out how to incorporate it into an SNL skit. Between him and I think he said Mikey Day was another person. Yeah, Mikey, yeah, Day. Mikey Day. Yeah, yeah and, 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 there, and Mikey Day. Yeah, and there's also a third writer who uh, uh, it was Peter Seidel. That's who it was. Yes. Yeah, he does a voice in this too in the special. Okay. So yeah, so between the three of them, they wanted to put this on SNL somehow, some way, and they got to this Halloween character. From what I saw, it didn't get into details as to why it was a Halloween character, why it was necessarily David S. Pumpkins, but they were talking about the names. And originally it was just like David Pumpkins. Okay, that's that's funny. But then one of them said, "How about David S. Pumpkins?" And they're like, "Oh, that sells it right there. The initial sells it. We got to do this." So that's actually how David S. Pumpkins came to be. And the amazing thing was when Tom Hanks was pitched the sketch on SNL, he was like, "I don't think I'm right for this." Maybe you should ask Chris Hemsworth next week, who's hosting, if he wants to play this sketch, because he did not understand this at all. But thank God he did eventually come around to do this sketch, because, dear Lord, this sketch does not work without Tom Hanks. No, Tom Hanks owns this role. He owns every role he does. He owns every role, exactly, yes. And that's what makes this whole thing hilarious, because it's Tom Hanks wearing this ridiculous suit and tie with pumpkins on it with a like, weird yeah, hairdo. This whole, yeah, this whole Don Cherry-ish nightmare he's got going on. Hold pumpkins. on, wait, wait, did you say Don Cherry? I did that, bastard. They're jerks well, doing it. Like it. I know what I'm talking about. You never do anything like that. They're still not drawn. They're a bunch of jerks as far as I'm concerned. Let's go, Canes! 2 and oh, baby! So, he's wearing this crazy pumpkin suit with the magic pumpkin tie. He's got this black shirt on. He's got an orange stripe in his hair. Sort of looks like Beekman, almost. Beekman. I can buy from, that, from yeah! Be Beekman's world. Yeah. And uh, not much is known about him except he does the dancing. He hangs out with uh, Left Skelton and Right Skelton, which are part of this thing. For some reason, they're part of it. Yeah. And we should also mention that where this originated was on a sketch called 100 Floors of Frights. Yes. And you had Keenan Thompson playing like this elevator attendant 
okay, we're going up to each floor. Oh, here's floor 27. Here's floor you know, 36. And seemingly after a while, every floor had some variation of David S. Pumpkins. Yeah, over time, it's like all the floors become David S. Pumpkins. And they're even invading other floors. Because you, you do see on one floor, Leslie Jones as like some <laughs> chainsaw-wielding maniac. And then all of a sudden, here come David S. Pumpkins and his left skeleton, right skeleton dancing through. Floor 99! Ah! I'm crazy! For David Pumpkins! David Pumpkins is in this. Um, 73 out of 100 floors. Why did you go all in on David Pumpkins? Hey, hey, look. It's 100 floors of Franks. They're not all going to be winners. Hey, Keenan's not wrong. 100 floors of Franks. All of them are not going to be winners. Yep. <laughs> and, of course, he is flanked by his two dancing skeletons. Left Skelton, played by Mikey Day, and Right Skelton, played by Bobby Moynihan. And this was, like, so huge, this sketch. Like, everyone, like, the next day was all talking about David S. Pumpkins. It was insane. All of America fell in love with David S. Pumpkins. Like, 2016 was a terrible year, but everyone came to a consensus... The one thing that was great about the year was David S. Pumpkins. Any questions? I have a question. What is the question? Okay, so we know how David Pumpkins was created. And we know how everybody brought him to life. But what makes him the be-all and all embodiment of all Hallow's Eve? That's a question that I never thought we'd find out. Nope, I never thought we'd find out either. And yet, NBC decided to expand upon the mythos of David S. Pumpkins as only they could. So Mikey Day, Bobby Moynihan, and Streeter Seidel came together and put together 21 minutes of live-action slash animated gold. Yes. And one year later, on October 28, 2017, we have the David S. Pumpkins Halloween Special, starring Tom Hanks as David S. Pumpkins, Mikey Day as Left Skeleton, Bobby Moynihan as Right Skeleton, and Streeter Seidel as Troy Dittmeyer, who is one of the three Dittmeyer triplets. Yes. This will make sense as we talk about it. Yeah. But also, we got a narrator for this special. And what a narrator it is. Pride of North Jersey. Tyrion Lannister himself. The most famous uh, small actor since Billy Barty. And we respect him. Oh, yes. We respect this man. I respect the hell out of this man. Oh, he is. Peter Dinklage. Oh, Peter Dinklage. Oh, what... Can we just say, Peter Dinklage, an absolute legend. And by the way, whenever we have talk about like some sexy girl or something on this podcast, and we do the woo, that is in reference to Peter Dinklage's appearance on the Ron Burgundy podcast, where Peter Dinklage was reading poetry, and Ron Burgundy was like so bored he was playing various sound clips while he was reading poetry. <laughs> See, Peter Dinklage, a legend on this podcast, and we didn't even know it. And, oh, and by the way, Chico, I love that in Avengers Infinity War, he played against type. Yes. Get it? Mm-hmm. Because he played a giant in Avengers Infinity War. Yeah, yeah, I get that. Because that's the joke, because Peter Dinklage is short. Yes. He is a little person. Oh, he's a little... Yeah, I'm sorry. That's what they said on Man vs. Beast. Oh, no. We made a Man vs. Beast reference? 
Really? Oh, no. Hey, I was cheering for them to beat that camel. I was cheering my heart out. Okay, you know what? I'll give you that. Who wasn't cheering for them to beat the camel? Okay. Okay, so, the show premiered. It wasn't in prime time. No, it was on the SNL time slot. So, like we said, the uh, special aired on October 28th, three days before Halloween, in SNL's time slot. And then there was, like, an hour-long episode of Saturday Night Live afterwards. Yeah, it was a Halloween special, I believe. Yeah. And the thing of it is, it wasn't sweeps yet, so they could get away with this sort of thing. Of course. But, yeah, with animation done by Bento Box Entertainment, Bob's Burgers, and the talents of Tom Hanks, Peter Dinklage, Bobby Moynihan, Mikey Day, Spencer Moss, Lexi Underwood, Streeter Seidel, Cecily Strong, Melissa Villasenor, and Steve Higgins... You would think that this would be a slam dunk, right? I guess? Yeah, I'd actually say no because of all the characters on SNL, this is the one you're going to do an animated special about? Yeah, but it's Halloween and it's the year after David S. Pumpkins hit it big. I I get it, I get it, but I I don't know if I'd necessarily... uh, I don't know if I'd necessarily back this character up, but I, I get it. He, he, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did we mention... Oh, because we haven't mentioned who does music about this. Oh, no, we haven't. Oh, and you want to talk legend, about a legend. A legend! Hey, Chico. Whip it! Whip it good! <laughs> Mark freaking Mother's Ball. Yeah. And you know what else he did the music for, Chico? Rugrats. Rugrats. I was going to say, I know it's Rugrats. Yeah, Rugrats, baby. Oh, and also, uh, just to throw in some more relevance to Mark Mother's Ball, since I don't think he gets more than enough acclaim on this show. First off, Devo. That's where the uh, Whippet reference came from. Because that was like their one hit. But also, among the shows that Mark Mothersbaugh has done music for, maybe we should just talk about previous installments. Sure, no, no, not just in previous installments. There's a lot of good TV shows here. Davis Rules. We talked about that already. Oh, Davis Rules, that. we did. Yeah. Yeah. And, wait, we're going to even mention a show that we talked about in this episode. He did Beekman's World's theme. Oh, that's right. He did do Beekman's World's theme. Oh, yes, yeah. he did. There's two other titles I noticed, guys. One of them mm-hmm. is a previous installment. One of them is a future installment. Uh huh. The previous installment. He was partially responsible for Tiger King, Murder, Mayhem, and Madness, the, nice. the Fox special from last year about previous installment Tiger King. But also. He did future installment. Oh, and this one, uh, we may get letters about it. Border Town, the Fox cartoon from five years ago. Oh, boy. Yeah. H- highly, highly insensitive. But we're not talk- here to talk about that. We're here to talk about David S. Pumpkins. Yes. Yeah, we're talking about a man who gave us joy during the a Halloween man, season. Yeah. A man who is the embodiment, the real reason behind the reason for spooky season. Let's say. And all I can say is... You know what? Let's go over what happened on this before we do anything else. Yeah, let's do that. (laughs) Because there is an actual story behind this. The story is that two kids, Kevin and his sister, Dottie, was walking around during Halloween, and they were looking at a pumpkin patch. They wanted to look for a pumpkin. They find the ugliest pumpkin in the patch. And as soon as they take it home, in comes the haunted elevator. And in comes David S. Pumpkins and his two skeletons. Why does the elevator come up from the ground 
Who knows? Because it's a throwback to the haunted elevator sketch. <laughs> yeah, I know that, but it's like, what reason is there for the elevator to come up if you don't know that's the context of the sketch? Because they don't know about the sketch. No. Nope. They don't know about the hundred floors of frights, these kids. Okay, so we have that. And then sort of as a B-plot, we have Kevin's crush page. Because Kevin is a, a, a little kid who doesn't know what to say, when to say it. He just says whatever comes to his mind. Oh, he's one of those kids. It does kid- not end well. Oh, he's one of those kids, huh? He's one of those kids. Oh. And then there are the Dipmeyer triplets. Oh. Who are basically playing up the uh, legend of the Raincoat Man. The Raincoat Man? The Raincoat Man. And a haunted house. And a haunted house. The Raincoat Man is going around swiping everybody's Halloween candy. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> But the raincoat man turns out to be the Dipmeyer triplets. Oh! That's stink. So, yeah, so how are David S. Pumpkins, Kevin, and Dottie going to stop this? You guys want to watch it and find out? Oh, yeah, let's watch Oh yeah, let's watch it. I didn't expect we were going to do a live watch, but yeah, let's do that. It's yeah, a half-hour have- special, folks. Yeah, do we have any choice at this point? Do we have any questions? Any questions? <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and watch. Here we go. How's it hanging? I'm David Pumpkins, and I am going to scare the heck out of you. What is this? The David S. Pumpkins Halloween Special. Any questions? Well, yes, in fact, I have a question perhaps you can answer. Who would you say is Halloween Santa? Who is that magical person, I mean, who embodies the spirit of Halloween? A ghost or a vampire? Hmm. A witch on a broom? A black cat or werewolf howling at the moon? Wrong! The spirit you seek, the mascot you desire, is this jazzed-up crazy man in the black attire. But who is this man and what is his name? Settle down with the questions. Okay. And let me explain. I first met him one Halloween long ago, when I was about age 11 or so. Oh, that didn't turn out good. (laughs) So here is my story, and it's really quite something. About the- Look at that pumpkin! That is a jacked up jack-o'-lantern! It looks like the smile is made up of Japan or something. <laughs> it, it, it does! A smile in one of his eyes. It, it's a jacked up lantern! That's not a jack-o'-lantern. That's a jacked up lantern! Oh my we God. said jacked! Not that other- No! It's a jacked, J-A-C-K-E-D, up lantern. Yeah. (laughs) That is an accurate rendition of Japan, though. It is. The Halloween I met David S. Pumpkin! I can't wait to get a pumpkin! Yeah, I know. Dang, who's that beefcake? That's me, obviously. Oh! Taking my sister to the pumpkin patch on All Hallows Eve. Are you going to tweak a tweet with me, Kevin? Ugh, Dottie, for the last time, no. Trick-or-treating's for little kids. I get made fun of. Hmm. Hey, Kevin. Paige, my crush. The prettiest girl at my school. You excited to go trick-or-treating tonight? I can't wait. Oh, don't freak out or geek out. Be charming. Be cool. Oh, come on. Yeah, I love trick-or-treating and I love it. Yeah! Okay, um, so what are you dressing up as? I'm a little toot-toot boy. What? Oh, no. Oh. That's a house. Bye. He's weird. What did I just say? Kevin, look. 
Oh. That's where Raincoat Man lives. Oh, Raincoat Man. Raincoat Man's not real, Dottie. Yes, he yeah. is. He lived there a long time ago. He hated kids. Uh-oh. 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 He to climb the tree in his front yard. So one stormy night, he went to call all the branches off. But he got struck by Oh. And his face melted off. Oh. His ghost That's still oh. Raincoat Man. Now, Mike, that's a scary-looking drawing of Raincoat Man, don't you think? That is a very scary drawing, yes. He's got no face. No face. Eyes and teeth, that's it. Eyes and teeth, no face. That is scary. Oh, no, he's scary. Oh, no. Did you pee your pants? The Dittweiler triplets. <laughs> Boo! The Dittweiler triplets. Always up to no good. The leanest, meanest, preteeniest punks in the neighborhood. Better stay home tonight, Kevin, or else Raincoat Man might come out and get you. <laughs> Gabe, don't ring your bike bell. It doesn't go with our vibe. Oh. Anyway, Kevin, smell you later. And you can tell this is from the 90s because one of the Det uh, Miller triplets uh, has yeah. frosted tips. Oh, yeah. And also, this was at the time we thought one day smell you later would replace goodbye. Smell you later. I can't believe smell you later replace goodbye. Thanks, loser. <laughs> hey, what did I just say about the bike bell? <laughs> oh, by the way, do you get the joke here, Mr. Higgins Pumpkin Patch? Yeah, this was uh, a reference. Steve Higgins. Reference to Steve Higgins. Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ooh, Speaking of which, uh, Steve Higgins the pumpkin does play the, the voice of the uh, proprietor the of the stem pumpkin. Had turned black, oh, okay. The skin was half green. It was bumpy. And oh, there's the pumpkin. Oh. With grimy gross gourd words growing out of each side. I want that one. But that dumpy pumpkin was actually the best. What? Kevin, what's happening? For that dumpy pumpkin came with a guest. <gasps> How's it hanging? I'm David Pumpkins. Any questions? Who? I'm David Pumpkins, man. Who? Are you a ghost or what are you? My own thing. And since you picked the magic, he's his own thing. I he's his own thing. For Halloween. What? Magic pumpkin? Is this like a known thing? Just listen to my song and all your questions. Okay, listen very carefully. He's going to tell you what he's all about. Okay. David Pumpkins. David Pumpkins. When I was born, I was a baby. To my mother, who was my mom, but the father I had, well, he was my dad, and I come from the place where I'm from. Yes, he comes from the place where he's from. That applies to, like, everyone. Yeah, well, I'm not done. I wasn't always this way, to be sure. I used to be the way I used to be before, but as I'm sure that you've heard, some occurrences occurred And on a night so strange Everything changed And I began David S. Pumpkins David S. Pumpkins S? So now you know me And you know who I am It is I, David Pumpkins, the Halloween guy, man Oh But please understand he's the Halloween but a Halloween man, man. What? Your questions are answered. Definitely not. Now, are they? The dancers. The dancers. Yep. Oh. The dancers. Oh. It's the skeletons. We have Bat <laughs> Skeleton and Bat Skeleton. Oh, <laughs> and the 
Give it as pumpkins. That Halloween. And the skeletons are part of it. Yeah. <laughs> and he's lost yeah, his breath. A lot. But we have to go home. Oh. oh, need a lift? We could take the pumpkin mobile. Oh! Oh, oh, it's a pumpkin mobile. This looks this is gonna be pretty cool. Yeah! Except Whoa! Your car is a giant strawberry <laughs> and a pumpkin mobile. A pumpkin. Why? You have a pumpkin man? That's crazy. Okay, then it's just my question. <laughs> he his pumpkin mobile is a strawberry. <laughs> 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 this makes no friggin' sense! No! But look at it, it's like a strawberry jack-o'-lantern! It's got the, cro the crooked tooth! <laughs> oh my gosh! I wonder if it's like the rejected apple from City Field. Perhaps! Oh my... It's the apple they didn't use for the home run apple at City Field. Nope. <laughs> Gosh. Nope. It's not really even shaped like a strawberry. It's just like a pumpkin shaped strawberry. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a pumpkin. <laughs> I don't even know why I thought that was an apple. It sort of looked like an apple to me. It looks but... like an apple. That's why I said it's a it's a, a strawberry, but it's shaped like a pumpkin. It's round, spherical. Oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh. So began our adventure, and right at the heart of it was David as pumpkins and two skeletons who were part of it. But little did we know, driving in our strawberry, that outside in the shadows lurks something truly scary. Oh. Oh, boy. The raincoat man. Welcome back that to doesn't look good. of my most amazing Halloween night. With David as pumpkins, skeleton left, and skeleton right. Oops, I leave a note. <laughs> David S. Pumpkins, not a good parallel parker. Nope. How can Believe you it. No, seriously. How can you parallel park a strawberry? <laughs> a giant strawberry. <laughs> look at, and look at the part I stopped the video on. Look at David S. Pumpkins getting out of the pumpkin, opening the door. The strawberry pumpkin, like, oh! He's all happy, and the kids in the back seat are scared. Oh, what? Oh, what did it turn in? Oh! He ate it! He ate his, he ate his ride. How are you going to get home? Your house smells weird! Oh, good, you're home. Listen, I got called into work, and Dad wasn't able to get on the 743, so he has to take the... Melissa, be his senor. Don't know, so Kevin Hunt, you're gonna have to take Dottie trick-or-treating. Her costume's in the other room. Yes! Oh, you brought some trick-or-treating friends. Hi, you must be their father. I'm Debbie Miller. I'm David Pumpkin. Nice to meet you, David. But that's quite a suit. So festive. You know, I love when parents dress up. Who says kids get to have all the fun, right? <laughs> <laughs> if anything comes up, Kevin has my work number. Bye. Who are you? I'd be Abraham Lincoln and a taco. Oh, Abraham Taco! Where's your costume? Oh, I don't have one. What? <laughs> then we gotta make you the best costume oh, ever! The best costume ever! Best costume ever! Who am I supposed to be? Ever. A business guy. A business Named guy. Carl <laughs> Branley? Is he a famous businessman or something? No, man! Let's trick a tweet! Wait, I can't go out there like this. What if I see people from my school? And they see me trick-or-treating in a nerdy business suit with my kid sister and, no offense, three, like, magical weirdos. Everyone's gonna make fun of me. Mm. I'm sure it'll be fine. Now, you just get us some oh, boy. <laughs> sure it'll be <laughs> And the best part is when they cut to... David has pumpkins and the two skeletons. They're all like, they're all happy. Like, they clearly do not understand his situation. That he will look like a loser if he's with them. Yeah. Oh. What the? 
Sorry. You don't have time to dwell on what people may think when bouncing house to house in an eighth of a blink. Oh. And as we sped through the town, going a minute a mile, a business guy named Carl Branley started to smile. <laughs> but remember before when I said that that evening, evil yes. was lurking and oh. sneaking and scheming? Yes! I did say that! I never tell lies! Anyway, some trick-or-treaters were getting a nasty surprise. Oh. Look, I've got That's not good. and Tropical Skiffle. Yeah, I will check this out. King size Narf Bar. Oh, it's a Raincoat Man! Raincoat Man! Ah! What do you want from us? Insane! See, Kevin? Trick or treating is fun! <laughs> oh! David's eating all the candy. Rappers and all! Rappers Man, and all! You are so weird! But I'm glad you guys took me out tonight. And you know what? Who cares what other people think? Oh no, the girl I like! Oh! <laughs> oh <my laughs> Whoops! Please don't embarrass me. Babe, hey! Crazy seeing you! I'm David Pumpkins! Kevin's such a cool guy! Look how clean his underwear is! <laughs> oh my oh, no. god! Yeah, congrats on that. <laughs> so... <laughs> David has Pumpkins on he pulled Kevin's pants down <laughs> to say, look how cool his underwear is! <laughs> 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 and he's giving a thumbs up! <laughs> oh, he so totally doesn't look like a loser right now. And he's giving a thumbs up, David. It's pumpkins. Good job, man. You're wearing underwear. Oh, my gosh. So, did you see him? Who? The raincoat man, he stole everybody's candy. He got kids on Hickory Lane, but at the same time, he was on Pine Tree Trail. He even got kids as far as... Oh, Green no. Road. It's like... Oh, hold on a everywhere. second. I gotta I, uh, rewind this for one second. He if you notice right here, one of the kids is wearing the, uh, the costume of Kevin Roberts, played by Larry David. In that FBI simulator uh -huh. sketch. It's one of those, I see what you did there. Wink, wink, not, 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 yeah. not, say no more. Oh, yeah. Can a bitch get a donut? <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> look, look, the kid flying. <laughs> the kid flying. Kevin Roberts is, like, on his knees next to his holy bucket. Like, He's oh, just sad. oh, my candy's gone. Can a bitch get some Halloween candy? <laughs> right? Oh, and look at this. One of the crying kids here is wearing a bee's costume. That's sad. Well, it's a nice little reference to the bees right here from SNL. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. It's like he's everywhere at once. We're going home. You guys should too. I don't want to go home. I want to get my candy oh. back. Don't cry, Abbott. We'll buy you some more tomorrow. But that's not as special as Halloween candy. Don't worry, Abbott. We'll get your candy back. We'll get everyone's candy back. Oh. How? Um. You're like a magical Halloween guy. Can you do anything? Yeah, man! Everybody! Hey! Everybody listen! Huh? <laughs> and then that happens. They're building him a sort of riser. Yeah. Oh, wait! They noticed, like, why are your pants down? <laughs> play that again. Play that again. Yeah, let's let you rewind it right here. There's Larry David again. It doesn't matter. My friends it doesn't and I matter. are going to go to Raincoat Man's house and get everyone's candy back. 
But he'll kill you! No, because my friend David Pumpkins here is gonna... Um... Do this! What's he doing? I don't know, but I think everybody likes him. Oh! <laughs> Oh man, you guys are Well, it seems die. like a good idea. I'm going home. Halloween's over. Oh. Bye, Kevin. Be safe. Oh no. We're going to that house. That's the scariest house I've ever seen in my life. I don't want to go there. We have to. We have to save Halloween. Oh. You guys coming with me? Yeah! 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 I'm David Bowie. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. See those kids' faces. <laughs> so much easier than trick or treating. Make dumb little kids do all the work and just steal it. Woo! Gabe, bike belt. Last warning, man. I'm serious. Open up, ghost. Ghosts? Ghosts aren't real, man. What about us? Oh, yeah. Ghosts are real. Well, I'm going to give that ghost a piece of my mind. Leave this house. I am Raincoat Man. What are you doing? I told you to hide. Who dares disturb Raincoat Man? Whoa, whoa. I think my voice thing is messed up, guys. Wow, way to break kayfabe, guys. You had one job. One job. Pathetic. Worst right. bullies ever. I'm David Pumpkins, and I'm gonna sing a song so scary, you're gonna wet your pants. <laughs> huh? And it goes a little something like this. What? Huh? What's going on? Ah! <laughs> triplets? What's this guy's deal? He said he was gonna sing, but he's not singing! And the music is building to a point where he should sing! I'm so in the weeds with this guy! Uh, Hi, hello! <laughs> Boo! <Ooh. laughs> what the? They probably did. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, just right. Threw yeah. Get that out of here. How are we supposed to give all this candy back? Raisins. Go to every single house in town? It'll take days. And we have to be back at the pumpkin patch by 10.34 p.m. What? Why? That's how long the magic lasts. Why am I just now hearing this? And why isn't it at, like, midnight? Because, man. <sighs> right, 10.34. Which leaves us... 34 minutes? What are we gonna do? Oh... I got it! <laughs> oh... Oh... Oh! Your pumpkin. That's your pumpkin, boy. My Halloween candy! Everyone's getting their Halloween candy back. You get Halloween candy, and you get Halloween candy. Everybody it's a gets Halloween, Halloween miracle. My candy's back! My candy. My candy! And the raisins are gone! No quite raisins! <laughs> and the raisins candy. are gone! I'm David Pumpkin! <laughs> this is the last one! <laughs> Did you see one of the skeletons just took out all the raisins? Yes. 
Yes, I did. <laughs> No, I did it. <laughs> well, how are we going to get you guys back to the pumpkin patch in time? How? We only have ten minutes in. I can't believe I'm saying this to someone. You ate your car. Mm, like this. <laughs> <laughs> They're riding the bus. They're riding the bus. And the best part is the right skeleton's reading the newspaper! He's reading the trades. Get it right. <laughs> and the left skeleton's like, Yep, I'm on a bus. <laughs> Sorry. 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 Almost there. And we're back at the pumpkin patch. Well, it was nice meeting you guys. Thanks for everything. Okay, wait for it, wait for it. Davey Pumpkins. Okay! Hey, <laughs> um, I think I get what you've been trying to teach me this whole time. I almost didn't go out for Halloween because I was scared of getting made fun of. But you clearly don't worry about what people think of you. And you might be the happiest guy I've ever seen. It's funny. Aww. Even though it's a night where you get to believe in witches and monsters and ghosts, Halloween is really about believing in yourself. No, it's not! Halloween's about candy, man! Well, that's oh. true. Oh, yeah. Well, this is the part where Kevin has to say goodbye to David Pumpkins, and I'm sure yeah, this is going to be it's very... It's sad, but it's happy. It's going to be very touching. I bet you this is going to be like right on par with when Elliot and E.T. had to part ways. I get, it's oh, gonna yeah, be very... this is, this is going to tug at your heartstrings. This is going to tug at... <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Wait, will we ever see you again? No! <laughs> <laughs> and Mike is dead. <laughs> <laughs> they they never see him again. <laughs> they never see him again. <laughs> How great would the ending to E.T. have been if E.T. said to Elliot, Nope, I'm never seeing you again. Bye! I like that to be an alternate ending on E.T. <laughs> like, will I ever see you again? No. No! No! <laughs> oh, boy. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh no! no. <laughs> oh boy! All right, let's get some closure. Huh. Can we go home now? Oh, yeah. great idea. Kevin looks at Paige. And her brother, who's very happy that she's got the candy, and he just crashed into a mailbox. That looks like it hurt. Are you okay? Oh, that hurt so much! David Pumpkins was right. We never saw him again. But I know he's still out there with his two bony friends. In a pumpkin print suit with a tie to match. Underneath the worst pumpkin in some pumpkin patch. And they say to this day that on All Hallows' Eve, David Pumpkins gives gifts to kids who believe. <laughs> Any raisins you get, put them in your jack-o'-lantern. And while you sleep, he'll turn them to Canturn D. Uh. Ah! I got so close to rhyming this whole thing. What I'm saying is, if you get raisins on Halloween, and you put them in your jack-o'-lantern before you go to bed, David Pumpkins will turn them into candy. Oh. Yes? Okay. Now, okay, I get that where now. was I? Ah, yes. Uh, closure. How to You're end our story? I'm sure you all have suggestions. But I'm fairly sure David Pumpkins would just say... The end! <laughs> <laughs> he just comes back on screen in live action and says, The end! That's it! 
<laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it's just gonna be us laughing for the next twenty minutes. Oh my god. This is even this might even be better than the winds of Whoopi. Well now hold on a second. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, oh boy. Th- that was so <laughs> that bizarre. Was so bizarre. crazy. That was the most bizarre 22 minutes of television ever. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so you gotta ask yourselves, guys. Mikey Day, Bobby Moynihan. How many drugs did you use when you came up with this? Oh my gosh. <laughs> that that was hilarious, but that was also like the, the weirdest like half hour I've seen in some time. Yeah. That was the whole point. That was the I that was the idea. Yeah, I, I get it, but oh my gosh. Well, I don't know how to close this, but I'm going to ask you guys a question. I think this only reran the one time. Yeah. So, so really, we never did see David S. Pumpkins again. No, so far we've never seen David S. Pumpkins again since this special. Yeah, he held up his end of the bargain. He's held up yep. his end of the bargain, guys. But we do see David S. Pumpkins in the guise of Dwayne Johnson. What? Dwayne Johnson as David S. Pimpkins. Oh my god. Oh my freaking god. Oh. Well. Oh. The David S. Pumpkins Halloween special. For one glorious night in 2017, Bobby Moynihan, Mikey Day, Tom Hanks, and Peter Dinklage gave us a very bizarre but memorable thing on TV. Any questions? Oh, I got several questions. Hey, guys, you know what it's time for? Oh, no! How did you find something related to this? No! It's time to play eBay Price is Right! Oh, good heavens. Oh, dear. All right, guys, you are bidding on a Funko Pop three pack of David S. Pumpkins with the skeletons, and they glow in the dark. Oh, jeez! Of course, they glow in the dark. Do you want to see the uh, the three pack? As a matter of fact, I do. Yes. Oh, yes, we have to. The, the, there it this is. is. This is a necessity. Limited edition, and it says glow is in the dark. Look at that. That is incredible. Oh, jeez. Okay. That is nice. That, that is, is nice. Yeah. I would love to have that. So would I. Yeah. Okay, so this is limited edition. This comes all the way out from California. Okay. Oh, it's free shipping, so you don't even have to worry about the shipping. Okay. Don't worry about the shipping. No shipping. Okay. Chico, you'll bid on it first. Um. Well, I have a two-pack of, of Pops uh, Rocket and Mega Man X, and that set me back about 30 bucks. So I'm willing to guess about 45 bucks. 45 bucks, Mike. Oh, no. 45.01. That thing... If I'm going off the record, thank you very much. I appreciate that gesture. But no, it, 45 is too 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 low for that. 
I'm thinking this is going to be realistically about seventy dollars, but I'm going forty five oh one. Okay, the price on this glow in the dark Funko three pack of David S. Pumpkins with the skeletons. Ninety dollars. Whoa! Chico, uh, you were off by half. What? I, I could see that. Now I've never seen this in stores. Plus, also, if you look at the uh, the packaging, it did say limited edition. Oh, okay. Yeah, there there was a little sticker, uh, a blue sticker that said uh, Funko limited edition. So see, that tells me like it's kind of scarce. Now I get it. Yeah. yeah, I made sure. Gotta, to, gotta look at these details, there, Chico. Yeah, uh. I, made, I made sure to highlight the limited edition part. But you can get David S. Pumpkins by himself for like around. I've seen him like, like around the fifteen to like thirty dollar range on eBay. So you can just get the uh, the David regular David S. Pumpkins Funko Pop for itself. So if you want, now, to. if you know, I'm just curious. When was this in stores? Oh, I remember seeing this around 2018. Where was it? Was it a Walmart, a Target? What, it what was, was all it? over the place. I saw it like in Walmart. I saw it in GameStop, a bunch of various places. So Target. Oh, 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 also, guys, if you don't want to go the eBay route and pay $90, Amazon has it for Chico, $44.99. There you go. So 40. you were actually looking at the Amazon price. So if we were playing not eBay prices right, I would have won. If, if we we're playing Amazon prices right, you would have nailed it. Well, you would have been a penny over actually, but yeah. close enough. What would we ever have for the theme music for Amazon prices right? Would it be the fifties Bill Cullen theme? Oh, don't go there. It's too late in the night. I can't even think of that sort of thing. Now I'm actually looking it up. Now you maybe want to record Cullen Prices right on Buzzer tomorrow because of it. But yeah, it's it's forty four ninety nine, and I'm halfway tempted to click uh, buy now. And uh, let's see, I, I don't. Oh, here, uh, free delivery if you order in the next hour and forty eight minutes. Ooh, free delivery Sunday, October twenty fourth. So you can have it by. The end of the weekend. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is tempting. Do I really want to spend forty five dollars on something I'm never gonna to touch? Uh I spent forty five dollars on pops that I have not touched. So hey. Hey, no matter how cool your Funko pops are, they'll never be as cool as this. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's nice. I have the Funko, yeah, I have the Funko Pop of Sting yeah. that I have with the green face paint that came in. The two pack from Fye oh. with the Lex Luger Funko, and they were four ninety nine okay. on clearance. So best uh, five okay, bucks the, I ever spent. The, the Sting Funko Pop definitely needs to be holding a telephone. Oh yes. yeah, they should really Funko. If you're listening. Please make a version of the Sting meme with him holding the phone on the WCW hotline. Please do that. Oh, there you go. I- I've got a better idea. Why don't you just do all the memes, Funko Pop? Do Wink Martindale 1-800-235-DEAD. With it on the box. Have him what? sitting with by a phone, holding the phone, saying, somebody's going to be calling me to get this damn cruise. Someone needs to get the correct number of people who died during this Alfred Hitchcock marathon, damn it, because I need someone to win this damn cruise. Well, we don't have a cruise to give away, but we do have a nice website, and it was a thing on TV.com where you can find out all of, all 100, well, not 100, 250 sub-odd episodes of Content! Content! Content and guys, content guys. Saturday on the Podbean feed, we are going to release the director's cut of one of our favorite episodes, episode one fifty eight, the High School USA nineteen eighty three TV movie. It's a love story about a man and his robot, and Tom Villard's involved too. And Tom Villard is involved too. That's an added bonus. Yep. 
Because he's America's ass from 1983. Of course he is. <laughs> he can't clear a hot. He thinks to go over the hot bar is to jump under the hurdle. Oh, yeah, that's way too way too many obstacles for his simple mind. Anyway. And uh, somehow and- Tom Ballard is riding up is driving a bus. How and, is Tom uh, Ballard driving a bus? Who knows? How did he get a bus? Who knows? I don't know. How did Todd Bridges get a robot? How did the robot get all that change from the soda machine? How did anything ha- in this movie even happen? How did Anthony Edwards end up with Nancy McKeon? Because Anthony Edwards was a jerk in 1983. That's how. He didn't meet Robert Carradine yet. Nope. And he didn't have that kid that appeared in the final episode of ER. And he wasn't on a beach playing volleyball with Tom Cruise. Anthony Edwards is a very versatile actor, is what we're trying to say here. And he wasn't trying to score with Linda Fiorentino like in Gotcha. That's a deep cut for you. I referenced Gotcha. I want to see that movie now. It's on Blu-ray from Kino Lorber. Our friends at Kino Lorber. We love Kino Lorber around here. Oh, yeah. All right. We also love our friends at the Place to Be Nation, where we do the weekly drops every Wednesday. I believe we have... Oh, 205, 206, and 207, which is Musical Chairs, Too Many Cooks, and the 1954 Casino Royale. Jimmy Bond. Bond. Jimmy Bond. That Casino Royale episode turned out real good. I liked it. I liked it a lot. It was fun, yes. Well, next week, uh, we're going to get a a bit as political as we're ever going to get on this podcast. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. One of the most what-the-F stories from election night's past. Yeah. Hey, he, this is a legendary newsman. Probably one of the top newsmen of all time. But... In the two nights in the 2000s. What the hell is he talking about? He just <laughs> lost it. Went totally off the rails. Completely off the rails. And then we're going to explore an infomercial, which features another election that kind of sort of went off the rails. Except it didn't really go off the rails. We all know who won. And if you don't know who won, I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna justify that statement with an ending. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. We're not even gonna say it. So but hey, Next, nope. as we said, next week this is probably as political as we're ever gonna get. So, but hey, we like democracy here, and that is why for the second year in a row we have the you pick. It was a thing in two weeks' time, but we're opening the polls this week. This week, and we got three nominees this year, and it was one nominee from all of us. But yep. one of the caveats is we were not going to pick something that we thought was going to tip the scales one way or another. That's right. So we picked up three very intriguing nominees. So, okay. First, I will pick my nominee, which is from the late 1970s on NBC. And we talked about it before on this podcast in the 1983 Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, Mike. Here's Boomer. Yeah. We talked about him because that time, late 70s, early 80s, Benji was the rage. Benji was the rage. Benji was all the rage. And Chica, what was your nominee? My nominee was the master because during the 1980s, ninjas. This is not about Anthony Ainley, is it? Oh... And Mike, your nominee. Yeah, I went with something that uh, I've talked about for some time, and uh, I put up Gary Busey, Pet Judge. 
<laughs> Gary Busey Pet, pet justice. justice. Pet Justice. Because who else would you get to decide your case involving a pet than Gary Busey? Okay. Oh, but it's beyond that. It is beyond that. All right, so to review, we have uh, here's Boomer, the master, Gary Busey, pet judge. Those are your choices, and the phone lines are going to be open until God. What are what are we closing these phone lines? I think it's going to be like for like maybe a. I don't even know. It'll, it'll be on Cause, Facebook, cause it, people. It'll be on yeah. the Facebook page. You'll just because, as we know, all the integrity, all the integrity of elections, is on Facebook. We all know this. You know what this means, right? What you know, do you know? You know what this means? We're putting the poll on Facebook, which means that uh, in two weeks' time, we are going to be talking about the Brady Brides. Oh yeah, it's pr- oh that that's that'd be terrible. We don't want to talk about the Brady Bunch. We don't want to talk about the Brady Brides. Not yet, anyway. Well, sometime along the way, we'll talk about the Brady Brides and the Bradys and all the the Brady Bunch Christmas special. Oh yeah, because hey, we hey we I all know it. Ivan Ooze. He was really upset that he missed the Brady Bunch reunion. He really was. And also, guys, we got a special mini-sode. Oh, yeah. You're going to love this mini-sode. It is one moment of one TV show, but holy cow, what a moment. It's like, how did this happen, and how did this person, like, still function after this? With, like, no harm whatsoever. Yeah, this was a moment that exists on YouTube, unedited in any way, and we're just thinking to ourselves, did that just happen? Did that just happen? Did I really just see this moment occur? Did did, did that just happen? And this was, I think, on the very first episode of this show. Yeah, it was. It was on the first episode. What a way to start the series. What a way to start the series and get a first impression of this show. If this hap- if this something this crazy happens, the rest of the show has to be even more crazy. Yep. And sure enough, it was. That is all coming up in the weeks to come right here on It Was a Thing on TV. Have a safe Halloween, everyone, and we will see you next time. Well.